I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Stop a nigga breathing. Uh, Bitch, we up with it. We don't wanna be still. I be with demons, I be with killers. Hold my niggas shoot. I know. I be with demons, I be with killers, cause I'm a killer too. Yo, 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 yo. Tap in with me. Let, let me talk to y'all for a second. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RightScanClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Yo, first of all, salute to every single one of y'all out there who have checked out the recaps with myself and Showtime SP. We truly appreciate all of the viewership, the people who are watching, interacting, subscribing, who did, did crazy numbers this weekend. Um, so there's a couple things I want to talk about in this blog right here. You got none other than Born Legacy coming back around the corner again, uh, Born Legacy 11. A couple battles been announced, adverse fonds, um, a couple other shits, I don't remember them all, whatever the case may be. Um, and you got Ryder versus JC. Ryder versus JC. Now Ryder, um, you know, Ryder battled against Mike P. He had that viral moment. The dude get a dope, but I used it. I drew shit, I move, and whatever he said against uh, Mike P. I didn't get it either. I didn't get it either. I didn't get it either. But uh, he, uh, what, you know, he had that viral moment. And now he's battling against JC. JC comes off of a battle with Prep, where Ryder was at Pump 3 at the Exxon, gassing Prep. I'm just gonna call it like I call it. Niggas was gassing. Prep was fire, but niggas was gassing every single line. I think Ryder even had a moment where JC had a moment where he like hollered at Ryder, like, what is this nigga doing? You know what I'm saying? So now Ryder gets a battle with JC. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I put up a post and damn near every single comment in the post said Ryder's gonna lose. I mean, probably out of I think it was like 78 or 75 comments. It might have been two or three that said Ryder was going to even have a chance. Everybody else said you're going to lose. So, with that being said, you know, Ryder's going to die. You're going to die. That's, that's the notion. 3 0, body bag, you're going to get smoked. Niggas are saying, y'all don't know what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. He's getting smoked. So, with that being said, that's not a bad thing, right? When people say you're going to get smoked, the only thing you can do is rise. So, you are in a good position because everybody thinks you're going to lose. So now there's shock value involved. You can actually shock a motherfucker because everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. So if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready, right? But you're gonna die. I mean, Ryder, come on. What you, this, that's the notion. What are you gonna do with JC? JC is line for line, bar for bar, one of them ones. Uh, JC's been taking a lot of these guys on these born legacies, these app cars, these app niggas. He, he had, uh, who he had? He had. Kid Chaos on one, then he took Prep on another app joint. Now he's taking Ryder. He's the appetizer. He's going to rub app, 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 and it's probably you know it's probably deep, some pretty decent money in app joints. I'm not gonna hold you. I mean, somebody got to battle the new niggas. I mean, Ryder's not really a new nigga like that. He just never got no looks. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really getting no really good looks. I think he got a uh, who he had. He had Prez Mafia. He had Cortez. Uh, he had. And this was like a couple years ago. He had the, the tournament. Um, and he had some more battles sprinkled in there and shit. You know what I'm saying? He had some more joints. But they never really they never really cut the faucet on for him. Like the Jerry West and just pushed him out there and gave him mad names. You know what I'm saying? Like put him in front of names like Rum Nitties and shit like that. They ain't never done that for him. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ryder definitely needs a breakout performance versus a JC. Um, you're gonna lose. You're, you're getting bodied, but I'm just speaking figuratively. I'm just trying to. You get. You're, you're, getting, you're gonna get smoked, but I'm. You know. I'm. I'm, I'm trying to help this out. I'm, I'm helping your cause here. So, uh, JC 
Now, JC is one who you know what you're getting with him. Body bags every after every battle, make sure that you find one, but do not tell your homie to jump in yet because it's only round one. This is a battle that if JC does anything but clearly win, it's it's a loss. Like he, this is Christmas money. This is literally a Christmas money layup for JC. I heard it's this weekend too. Literally, Christmas is next week. This is a Christmas week layup. Isn't it Christmas next week? I think Christmas is next week. It's a layup for JC. He should not have any problems. Um, Christmas is next Friday. He should he should have no problems getting past Friday. But uh, honestly, um, you have a situation where uh, JC was once in talks to battle against Loaded Lux. And I, I, I don't know what, what went on with that, but you know, we, we're here where we're at now. So um, let's see, we gotta see where, where it goes and how it stands. But uh, on, the, on the outside looking in, I got JC 2-1. Ryder, if you're gonna beat JC, you got to prove it to me. I got faith in you, you know what I'm saying? There's some other cats on the card. And the one thing I must say about the Battle Rappers, you know, um, if you're on like Born Legacies or you're newer getting your looks, it's best to have your best foot forward. Like when you get mad at bloggers and you talk regular but then they won't talk about your battle. And then if they don't talk about your battle, they don't promote your battle, they don't recap your battle. That shit does not help you. It's not conducive because you have to understand that the niggas who blog do not work for the battle rap leagues. Most of us don't work for the leagues. So it's not our job to like talk about you per se. You know what I'm saying? Like if you do good, if it's, you know, if it's relevant content, niggas will talk about you. But when y'all diss bloggers and you talk left about a blogger, a nigga will put you on the blacklist in his mind. Like, he don't give a fuck what battle you got. He don't care when it come out. The nigga's never talking about you. Just my word of advice. And then you ruin it for the other battler because the other battler may want somebody to recap their battle. But now you don't talk reckless about him. And now he's not recapping your battle or the person that you spoke about. Just, just my word of advice. Just choo talk to niggas nice. Choose your words. Choose your words carefully. But um, right. I I I don't. I I mean, in this one, you have to do something different than what you've been doing in some of your other ones. And then you know, swing for the stars. You got nothing to lose because everybody thinks you're gonna lose anyway. I mean, but you was in the same scenario versus Mike P. I think niggas had you at like a 82 to 18. They had you predicted to lose, and then you you. Won, but you know they you, you you won the war, but you didn't win the battle in that one. So this could be another scenario. Uh, JC is definitely going to get at you for that gassing. Uh, if you're battling JC in that clothing store with no crowd, you better have a hundred niggas outside <laughs> at the window. Them niggas be trying to gas that shit too, which is so crazy. Um, but we'll see. I got faith in you. I know niggas got you dying, dying, dying. But, you know, I got I, I got to be a little bit more interesting than a bad burial death. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas has uh, niggas got it out for you. Um, Calico, he did respond to when I said it was their performance better than Daylight's three rounds in 2020. He said that, uh, you know, give him a second. Give him a second. Um, today is December 14th. You won one? Okay, cool. You're about to get a few of them in the worst way. For now, on December 14th is national. What the fuck happened to Surf Day? If you know what December 14th is, you know, you should you should know what December 14th is. It's uh, what the fuck happened to Surf Day. And uh, Charlie Clips did share a clip of him uh, teasing, <laughs> teasing Sue Surf about December 14th and national what the fuck happened to Sue Surf Day. Uh, you know, if that was from his Born Legacy battle versus Sue Surf back in the days, you should remember that. Uh, that was clips. He kind of dog walked him too. But he definitely celebrated December 14th. Uh, hopefully you guys are all doing good out there. I um, just got my first COVID test in, uh, for, the, for the whole season. I haven't tested at all. Man, that shit in your nose is it's a different kind of violation. It came back negative, thank God. And then they test you for the antibodies. Um, antibodies to see if you've ever had it before. I came up negative for that too, so I've never had it, and I've never had been exposed to it either, which is a blessing. I just say that to say, uh, I see that they're giving out the vaccinations now, or they're going to start giving out the vaccines, but it's kind of odd. It's almost like the Tuskegee experiment where they gave like a bunch of African Americans. They tried to, the first person to get the vaccine 
was a black they had a black woman up there you know what i'm saying so it's like they'll do things to us that they're not willing to do to other nationalities like our lives are not equivalent or equal to and i think that that's kind of trash like give that shit to everybody um and then you know it'll we'll, we'll see how it pans out from there so um other than that salute to the subscribers that notification gang uh you know it is what it is man but yeah the tuskegee syphilis study was what it was called it was a clinical study between 1932 and 1972 by the public health service and the center for disease control the purpose was uh, to give untreated syphilis to African-American men. You know what I'm saying? They were basically injecting African-Americans with syphilis. Now it's looking like it's the same thing turning around again with this corona vaccine. I, I, why should we be the first people to get it? But that's a whole nother story starring totally different actors. Um, see that through the rear view and this and that. But Ryder, these are all of the different things I think about when these niggas rap. I don't fucking hear you. Um, you better be, whatever you was writing, you better, you better write the best shit you ever wrote in your motherfucking life. You better, you better, telling you, cause this battle right here, getting smoked by JC, whew, man. niggas got you losing 3-0, body bag, die, 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 like die, 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 but I, I, I think you gonna be alright, my nigga, just to put your best foot forward. You know what I'm saying? And don't jump out there and blame me and say, I said you was going to lose or I said you wasn't going to be on Born Legacy. Niggas just be putting words in my mouth. I ain't never said that shit about none of these niggas. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm out of here. Gone. I'm on some free line. Go get the money. money. Go get the fed. Let them know we on the grind to get more. Yeah. They want some problem. What? My head is my When we pop up with them sticks, they get go. So what? Demons, I be with killers, hold my niggas shoot. I, know. I be with demons, I be with killers, cause I'm a killer too. I drop like 50, Dev drop 50, Dre gon' get in too. If I put them killers on your head, what the fuck you gon' do?